In this video, we're going to continue our series on Excel by looking at pivot tables. This is something which you'll certainly need to use at some point in your QS career, perhaps even frequently. Before we begin, if you want to see more of these Excel videos, we'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button. Okay, so let's begin. What we have here is a very basic cost report. I've made this for the purposes of this video. It has most of the columns that you'll see within a cost report. For example, you've got contract code, which lists out the different contracts or framework agreements. You've got project code, which differentiates the different types of projects. You've got activity, which breaks down the cost components, labor, material, plan, subcontract. You've got the cost date, the description, the cost, and the period. For example, period one relates to January, period two relates to February, and so on. Now to create a pivot table, it's actually quite simple. Select any cell within the table, click pivot table, and click OK. Now here you have a blank pivot table. To add data into this, you'll need to look at the pivot table fields on the right hand side. This lists out all the headings from the table that we saw earlier. For example, you might want to list out the activity and the cost. You might want to list out the activity, the cost, and see that as spend per period. For example, you just click period, and down here, you drag summer period up to columns. Now on your pivot table, it tells you the cost per period broken down by activity. Now you can also add filters to your pivot table. For example, you might want to differentiate between the different project codes. To do this, you just select project code and you drag the project code field all the way to filters. Now what you can do on your pivot table is select between the two different project codes. Another feature you can add to your pivot table is a slicer. A slicer is similar to a filter, although it's external to the pivot table. This is useful when you're presenting the data. So for example, let's click slicer here and let's click period. So here we've got period one, two, and three. And our pivot table shows the activities and the cost. So we might want to see all the cost that relates to period two, or period three, or period one. Slices are very useful when you're presenting this data, as it means you can filter quickly. Another useful feature is timeline. Okay, so to do this, let's delete the slicer and go back to our pivot table. Now these costs obviously relate to different dates. If we go to pivot table analyze and click insert timeline and then select cost date, we get a timeline up here, similar to the slicer. You can slide this to February and show costs over February and March, slide this to January and so on. You can see how this could be useful again when presenting data. Now, on the right hand side where we've got our fields, we've got these four boxes below. If you remember, we use this to move period into columns or create filters. But there's also other things you can do. For example, in the value column, it doesn't just need to show the sum of the cost. It can also show, for example, the count. So it shows you the amount of lines relating to each item. It can also show you the average. So it shows you the average cost per line and there's many more features to choose from. You can also format your pivot table. So for example, you might want this cost to be shown as a currency. You may also want to extract this pivot table into a normal table. You can just select the pivot table, right click, copy, and then paste values. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business. 